So uh, my name's Kev Palmer, I'm a bushcraft instructor working for Silverback Bushcraft. Uh, we're based in Lincolnshire um, and we also run courses up in northern Nottinghamshire as well. Uh, and we're here at the Bushcraft Show and we're doing a few workshops this weekend, but one of which is to a masterclass on using these things here, which are Dutch ovens. So Dutch oven is a cast iron cooking pot. It sort of dates back to the last five or six hundred years and they were sort of a household staple. Um, the name Dutch oven comes from the fact that the, the Dutch designed a way of casting iron to get a smoother finish. So at that time there were lots of cooking pots around but the, the ones cast in other countries were quite inferior. The Dutch had a casting technique using sand which gave this smooth finish. So the best cast iron cooking pots were the Dutch ones and the name Dutch oven uh, it sort of gradually became the common name for them and was used in history. And at the moment there's a big resurgence in using these, going back to these traditional methods of cooking. Um, what we're doing to this weekend is looking at uh, how versatile they are and the different ways you can use them. So basically most people will boil a stew in it, uh, you know, maybe roast something in it. But we want to show you how you can use them in a variety of different ways. We were uh, roasting in it, frying in it, baking bread in it. Um, so we did a four course meal essentially using lots of different cooking techniques, all using the Dutch oven. Um, and we finished off with uh, using uh, it to make ice cream in. Because they conduct heat, cast iron is very good at conducting heat. It also conducts cold well as well. So by having a layer of salt and ice on the out, have one Dutch oven inside another, and then packing the gap between the two with salt and ice, you can actually use it like an ice cream maker. So we, we made ice cream from scratch out here. When you mix salt with ice, um, it will actually melt the ice, but it will lower the temperature because salt water freezes at a much lower temperature than normal water. So normal water obviously freezes at uh, 0 degrees C. Salt water freezes at about minus 18. Um, and so by adding salt to crushed ice, it will actually drop the temperature to around minus 18. So what that does is it super cools the, the, the small Dutch oven on the inside. And then as you put the, um, the ice cream mixture in there, the custard, um, and start stirring it, it will actually start to freeze on the edges of the bowl. Um, and as you keep stirring it, it will get colder and colder and colder and eventually set and make proper ice cream. So this was a method they used in the Victorian era for making ice cream, um, but they did it in like wooden churns packed with salt and ice. So, but a Dutch oven, because it conducts the, the, temp, the cold just as much, um, will actually work really, really well because it it, it's a great conductor of heat. Um, so yeah, we, that's what we wanted to show really, just the versatility of the Dutch oven, how you can use it in different ways. And this is relevant not just for people out in the woods and doing bushcraft courses and stuff like that, but people in the back garden, you know, barbecues are really popular now, but instead of just frazzling sausages to charcoal, you can you cook some quite, you know, inventive dishes. What happens is the with these are a bit like a wok where you season it. So when you buy them new, what you these are pre-seasoned these ones, particular ones, but some of them aren't. What you do is you actually burn oil into the cast iron, which forms a, a non-stick coating. And the more you use it, the thicker that coating gets. Um, so it stops food sticking to it, but it actually also absorbs some of the flavour from the food. So when you cook something the next time, it will release some of that flavour back into it. So with plain foods like pasta and bread and mashed potato, um, that's sort of thing it actually will taste gain flavor from being cooked in the Dutch oven without adding much seasoning and the, the important thing with that is is you shouldn't really use detergents and other things on them when you clean them because that will soak into it and then you'll get a flavors you don't want in the cooking um, but they're just just so useful for you know, cooking a whole range of things and that's what we we're trying to highlight today